Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to change any network card mac address now your mac address is your unique identifier for that nick card it basically has a different number on every single nick card that is made and this is why you might want to change it for security reasons so here we have a wi-fi connection and an ethernet connection and you can change the mac address on these to mask or spoof your original MAC address. You can see this one here has been already changed. I'm just showing you. So you can see it's possible to change your MAC address uh, to any number you like. And this will mask your or spoof your original uh, MAC address. So let's go ahead and right click on the start button and go to device manager and click on network adapters and choose our network adapter. From here, we can go to advanced. In the property section, go to uh, network address. Inside here, you should see network address here, and you'll see the value has already been added in. So this is spoofing my MAC address for this number we're using right here, instead of using the original MAC address, which is being given for that particular NIC card. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, there's many reasons why you want to do this for security reasons and other reasons. Far too complicated to go into this one video. That's a separate video in itself. But again, you can do a bit of research and see why you should change your MAC address and you can read up about it. It's quite simple. So if we go to our wireless network card here, you can see there is no network address here. So you won't be able to change your uh, MAC address on your Wi-Fi card in this manner. So I'll show you how to do this via the uh, registry. It's pretty straightforward, but be very careful when messing around in the registry because you can mess up your computer. But I'll show you exactly how you can go ahead and do it. So let me quickly show you how you can find your MAC address for your Wi-Fi card. So we're going to go into network and internet in your settings panel and click on Wi-Fi here. Once you're in the Wi-Fi section, go to hardware properties, and this will give you your physical address, which is your MAC address. You can see it there, 05-BE, and that is the end number of the MAC address for that network card. So let's go to the search box here and type cmd and open up command prompt and type get mac once you type get mac it will give you the network addresses physical addresses on this uh, machine here you can see here 05 be and there's this number here i'm going to copy this front number here because we need this when we're searching in the registry for this network card in the registry so i'm just going to control c to copy this number go to the start button and type reg edit this will open up the registry editor. From here, we're going to navigate to HKey local machine, and then we're going to go down to where it says system, open this up here. Then we're going to go down to current control set, open that up, then control, open that one up. And then we're going to go down to where it says class. So you should see class here, and we can open this up here. Let me just quickly open this up. Now, inside one of these folders, is your network card. So right click and go find. And now control V will paste in that number we copied from the actual uh, command prompt there. So it's in 0004 subdirectory. So what we're gonna do is go over to the right hand side here and we'll find our network card to make sure we're in the right location and we're editing the right network card. So we're just gonna go in here on the right and we'll scroll down until we find this registry key, which is gonna tell us that we're in the right location because it ties up with the one in the command prompt. So we know we're in the right location and we have the right network card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now right click in a blank better space and go new string value. We need to give this string value a name. So we're gonna call this network address. And you need to use capitals for the N and the A. Double click on it. And we need to put in our network address, which is going to be our MAC address. So inside here, we need to give this a MAC address number. So make sure. Now to start off, I always start with a zero. And then I always use either a two, an E, an A, or an F. That's what I do. And then you can put some random numbers in after this. Let's go ahead and put in some numbers. We'll put 2, 2, and then we can put in 6, 3, and I'll put in another random one, 7, 8. 
We need four more. So I'm going to do nine zero. And we also do five five here. That will do. And we can now click OK. Just remember nine zero five five, those four digits at the end. So this is what the whole uh, MAC address will be now. So we just click OK. And we need to turn off our network card and turn it back on again to make the changes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And then we can check it out to see if the MAC address has been changed. So let's go to the start button and then go settings, network and internet. Inside here, we can now go to the Wi Fi connection and now go to hardware properties. And as you can see, we now have that uh, MAC address been changed. 9055 was the end number. You can see that has now been changed for the new MAC address, that, which, which is the one we've just given it. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.